Today's video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create a native Android and iOS mobile application. Get the opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how you can customize header and footer in WordPress using Elements Kit plugin. Now let's head over to our dashboard. Go to plugin section. We're going to need two plugins, Elementor and Elements Kit. So we'll search for Elementor. And it is already active on my system. If it's not, download and activate it. And we're going to activate Elements Kit. This is the plugin. We're going to click install now. Now it is installed and we'll activate it. Now let me clear this up. Elements kit will only edit how your header and footer looks. It will not change how you'll access those links inside the header and footer. For that you'll have to head over to your website and customize it using WordPress itself. So you will customize links that will work inside the header will be edited here. But what we are after is to make these header and footer look how we want them to. So let's head over to our plugin and you'll see the elements kit section has been created. Go to header. First off, we'll start with sign up. We will click this basic, which is recommended. We're going to modules. Make sure this is checked. Header and footer module. There are several modules that as you can see, some are free and some are paid. Now it is up to you as to which one you want to use and which is, is it worth your money. For now, we'll use the free one and just carry on with the setup. Save changes. Now here we have our everything set up. Now we can start editing our header and footer. Let's go to header and footer. Go towards header, add new. I'm going to name it main menu. Select header and click on entire site. Now, if you want only a single page to have a menu, a specific menu, you will have to buy the pro version. For, for us, we will use the entire site. Click on activate, save changes. Now we're going to edit this, edit content. Now we can start from scratch using element or theme builder, or we can just use templates provided by elements kit. For me, I'll head over to sections. I'll go with this one. 
click on insert select this and our menu is going to be primary menu so as you can see all our links appeared here now you can't change the links that will lead to this specific page inside here we can only change how it will look right so I want to change the logo we'll choose an image insert the media now if I don't want this section I'll just simply right click it and delete this section now as you can see it is looking nice but I want to change a bit more so click this section we'll head over to styles menu item style and change the color to match our theme I'll go with this one this looks perfect and click on update now we can change how it looks when it when we hover over it I'm going to change this to a bit more dark and when it's active I'm going to the light side now let's see how it looks now as you can see this looks much better we're going to press update head to our website and reload the web page now here we are much better than what we had and this search icon this is provided in the template which is much better now it's time to edit our footer I don't want this plain looking footer either so let's change it first what we're going to do is delete the existing footer now head over to above footer and select this section delete it update let's go back to our dashboard elementor elements kit and we'll go to footer add a new one this is our footer select footer here as well you can name it anything you want just activate it save changes we're going to go to edit once again edit content and I'm gonna take another template having templates is so much better than having to create it from scratch at least when you are a beginner so we'll see what matches our website since I don't have many links to provide inside the footer I'll click on this one this one is fairly minimal I'll just change the color theme and the looks of it I'll insert it maybe I want to edit the background of this so that will be a bit on the lighter side and We're going to change this color as well bit on the
height aside. Don't worry, we're going to change the font text and color as well. We're going to change this image to, let's say this one. Insert here. We're going to edit image size to thumbnail, which looks perfect on this one. Delete this section. And we're going to change the text color as well to dark. Here as well. So here is our header and footer. We're going to change this to So this is changed as well. I'm going to remove this section. We're going to click update. Now let's see what our website looks like. As you can see, this looks much better than it was. Here's our footer, perfectly matches the theme of our website. So that's about it on the video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this useful and subscribe. Thank you.